In the new film, For Ragnarok, Thor goes to the planet Sakaar, where he encounters and fights the Hulk. Then they have a chat later on, and they both catch up on each other's lives. Kind of both like fire. But Hulk like raging fire, so I like smoldering fire. <laughs> And we learn that the Hulk has been on Sakaar ever since he disappeared at the end of Avengers Age of Ultron, which in the Marvel timeline of continuity is two years ago. And he hasn't changed back from the Hulk to Banner in all that time. And now he is the Hulk even when he's not angry and he's able to talk calmly to Thor. Which raises the question, how is the Hulk able to talk in complete sentences? Before now, we've only seen the Hulk grunt and roar and rage. He never engages in a full discussion with anyone. In fact, the most we've ever really heard him say is, Puny God. But in Thor Ragnarok, Thor and Hulk have a full conversation, but the Hulk has only been away on Sakaar for two years, which doesn't seem enough time for the Hulk to be talking like a normal person does. After all, before this, he's presented like a primitive beast with very low intelligence. So how has the Hulk come so far in so short an amount of time? Well, the two explanations for this are, one, he's just always been able to talk complete sentences. He just hasn't done before, which is entirely possible. After all, he's not usually brought out Banner to talk, but to smash, and he doesn't really need words for that. Maybe he's just been so angry and bursting with rage that he couldn't even speak, and that's why he seems so primitive, because he needed to calm down to speak normally. The other is that he's just learnt more in his time as the Hulk over the last two years. Now given the state of his simple mind we've seen before, assuming that he is just a simple minded beast and not intelligent secretly, two years doesn't really seem like long enough for him to have learned how to talk coherently, because before this his words were almost that of a child. But although he's been missing for two years on Earth, time on Sakaar passes differently. In the film, Loki is transported there only a few moments before Thor is transported there, but in Sakaar, Loki says to Thor that he's been there for weeks. And if just a few seconds is a few weeks, then just imagine how long two years must be on Sakaar. We'd be talking millennia, which is certainly a long enough time for the Hulk to have learnt and grown smarter. Now, in this case, the Hulk should really have died of old age, though perhaps in the movies he just doesn't age when in Hulk form, or maybe people on Sakaar just don't age while they're on the planet, which would explain why the Valkyrie still looks young. She may be an Asgardian and they may age slower than humans, but she's been on Sakaar for over 100,000 years, taking into account the Sakaar's time passing difference. And even Odin isn't that old and he died of old age in the film. That being said, the time difference makes little to no sense. Loki has been there for weeks, while in our universe only a few seconds have passed. Then Thor is on Sakaar for a few days, and if a few weeks on Sakaar is only a few seconds in Asgard, then a few days should logically be less time, and Thor would be in Asgard only a few seconds after he left our universe, yet a lot more time has passed in the real world since he's been gone. There doesn't seem to be any reason for this, so maybe this just didn't occur to the filmmakers when they were making the film. Either that or Loki was lying, which is possible, he is the god of mischief and lies after all. Surprise! But given the way the film is set across and the way he's built up his place in society on Sakaar, it doesn't really seem likely that he's lying. But those are the two theories on how he can talk in full sentences. Which of these theories do you think is right? Or do you have a different theory on how the Hulk can now talk in full sentences like an adult? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and just let us say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mass Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that's helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.